ओके ऑल ऑफ यू आई टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट ए न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज विजुअल प्रोग्रामिंग एक्चुअली दैट मींस वी विल लर्न प्रोग्रामिंग इन अ फन वे बेसिकली वी विल लर्न प्रोग्रामिंग मींस लॉजिकल डेवलपमेंट वी विल लर्न द सम प्रोग्रामिंग टर्म्स लाइक वेरिएबल एरे लूप दिस टाइप्स ऑफ थिंग्स वी विल लर्न इन द नेक्स्ट सेमेस्टर सी प्रोग्रामिंग बट वी विल लर्न दिस टॉपिक in a fun way by creating some animation figures design in a application that is known as grasshopper so all you need to do it today you don't need to do anything after the class all you need to do this is you have to okay sorry i did i am not sharing my screen isn't it uh, okay all of you you need to do is you have to download this grasshopper application this one this one if you just go to play store you will get it grasshopper download this application we will work on it basically it will be uh, we, i was supposed to teach another uh, programming visual programming as scratch but here since we are using mobile phone we, we will use it okay i will show you how can you do work on it and how actually we learn some programming terms what does this mean uh, how it works we will learn some programming concepts by creating some games animation okay i will show it just click on the grasshopper it will open so whenever you will open it i have solved something solve some steps that's why it's showing like this like whenever you open it on the left side you have some options what is code fundamentals the fundamentals to so whenever uh, so what is code if you click on the what is code they will actually give you some idea what is code so i have already completed this that's why it's showing again okay so what we will do we will learn the basics of programming the concepts of programming uh, by doing some visualization in this section like this section is this grasshopper section so first we will learn what is code we will try to feel it actually what is code what does it mean by coding and other things so here in grasshopper okay first of all tell me can anyone tell me there are three options what is code uh, can anyone tell me what what will be the right answer here how we communicate with computer yes how we communicate with computers so this is the coding actually so that is correct so coding means coding means uh is it the uh, coding means you will write some instructions to your computer your mobile is also a computer and according to your instructions it will do some specific task if you ask it do this it will do this if you ask it to that it will do that so you are the human you are the programmer you will write some program to instruct your computer according to your program according to your command it will do some task okay like uh, what is coding coding is the first one writing instructions for a computer to follow i am just these are the some warm up exercise okay which language it's basically what is language actually language means uh whenever we want to communicate with computer computer it doesn't understand our human language it will not understand english or our human language it is some own language so we have to communicate it with its own languages so there's lots of languages we will learn c in the next uh c python java c++ javascript so there's a programming in the javascript we will use javascript for this course but here this will be very simple this will be very basics of javascript we'll get it so here the programming language this application grasshopper will use that is javascript okay that's it actually that was some warm up thing so what we will do uh, we will do some coding coding means you will write some instructions 
according to our instructions it will do something and we will use a language language means what is programming language programming language means the language yeah raisa raised your hand do you have any question no okay. sir it was a mistake okay okay it's fine okay if you have any question all of you you can unmute and ask me okay listen so coding means giving some instructions to the computer and computers don't understand human language so we have to talk with it its own language these are known as programming language we have lots of programming language python python doesn't mean actually python on the amazon it's another python it's language python then you have javascript c c++ all the things you know whenever i hope i am a big fan of doraemon cartoon whenever uh, in doraemon actually in many of the doraemon episodes doraemon nobita they go to the another planet so whenever they go to another planet sometimes doraemon uses some interesting gadget that is interpreter this whenever you they use doraemon use this gadget he can interpret with the aliens of this planet they can understand their language also uh, doraemon can understand their language so that's the interpreter they use hmm. so here the we will use this type of interpreter like this grasshopper will be a like, kind of interpreter we will write something here and we will write the language use the language of javascript that computer will understand something like that because it's a, a bit of alien to us so we will write something in this environment and computer will understand like doraemon uses interpreter okay on the left side you can see fundamentals fundamentals to array animation lots of options so if you complete the fundamental option the next fundamentals to will be locked unlocked sorry it will be unlocked if you can complete fundamentals to the next section array methods will be unlocked there are some other option practice code playground we will go for it first of all click on the fundamentals i have already completed this uh, see listen i have created a slide for you don't worry in the slide i have given the some instructions what should you do so there are some options drawing shapes sections actually variables then arrays if statements operators loops to so you know this loop variable operator we will use this concept in our programming also like c programming we are going to learn in the next semester we will use this concept we will use the same concept same thing here but in a fun way here we will visualize something if you can understand or if you can feel actually what is variable what is array here we will not go for a very big deep explanation you will get if you can understand this here it will be very easy very easy for you to do it to do c programming in the next semester okay first of all come here drawing shape this section actually is <coughs> sorry <coughs> it's a warm up section like friends flag if you click on the friends flag i have already did for you did it start page on okay friends like see uh, whenever you will open a puzzle there will be some instructions what should you do and how should you do uh, instruction is use the draw box function to add three new boxes so there is a example solution option your solution example solution means you have to create a figure like this you have to create a figure like this and your solution is they they already did it uh, that means they already did partial solution for you okay they already did partial solution for you but our job is we have to create the whole flag like our example solution uh, they already did partial solution for me now i will think this is my code they did it like drawbacks blue drawbox white drawbox red drawbox is a function you don't need to worry about it we will just use it it will draw some figure this is very interesting actually it will draw some drawback blue means it will draw a blue box drawbox white piece it will draw a white box 
So draw box, draw box blue, draw box white. <coughs> Sorry, draw box red means I hope you can see. You can see one blue box, one white box, one red box. Mm -hmm. This code are written to create this box. New line means uh, it will go to, in the output. It will go to the next row or next line. I hope you can see that's a grasshopper sign here, symbol here. This grasshopper is on the next line. That's what new line do. New line will uh, move you to the next line. Okay. All of you. So draw box is a function. You will create some box here, color box by using this function. We don't need to worry about. We just write draw box blue, draw box white, draw box red. It will create the box for you. Our target is see. We will create a flag like this, like example solution. So they have created uh, a portion for us. What should we write in the code again so that it will look like this? This full, uh, the whole flag. What should we do? What will you do? From the code, I get some idea actually. What should I do? Then I will again write some drawback function to complete this code to make it like this. What will I do? I will write some code here. So click here after the new line. Whenever you click here, a new window will appear. And here you can write something by taking the uh, uh, sections from here, steps from here. Like I will write Dropbox. Then I will select blue. Then again, I will select Dropbox. Then white. Then I will again select Dropbox. Then red. See. I thought for creating the whole flag, I understood that according to the logic, I got that they have already did uh, first she boxes. They have already created first she boxes. I got that for creating this whole flag, I have to create three more boxes, isn't it? It looks like this. It looks like, for creating the whole flag, I have to create three more boxes here. That's what I did here. After the new line, after the existing code, I have added, I have added three more boxes, blue, white, red. If I run it now, what will happen? The green button, you can see green play button. This is a run button. If you click on here, congress, that means you did it perfectly. That means I made a flag look like this. So I, from the code, I got the idea of what should I do. Did this is a logical development actually i got the idea that i have to create it in this way so this is just a very simple stuff did you get it do you have any question about this no sir okay it it is very simple and fun actually okay if i am done with this one i will go for the next one then i will okay next one Mm. Is it set? Oh, sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. Actually, I completed this one. That's why. So the next one after France flag, like Gabonese flag or something like that. Let's so this set it. Mm. See, in this flag also, <coughs> we will add a two new drawbox function. Same. So there are some instructions. I have to create a flag actually like this example solution. And they, in the instruction, they will give you the solution or instruction of what should you do. They will give you the solution. What should you do? Okay, listen, there are some term here. Functions, argument. Function means uh, like drawbox, drawbox, sorry. Drawbox is a function. New line is a function. Function means it will do something function means it will do some work you will give some input and it will give you some output you know this is the function in mathematics or uh, in pre access i think you are doing pre calculus the function means it will give you will give some input there it will give you some output the so drawbox is a function new line is a function we don't need to worry about this this is saved in the grasshopper this is saved in the javascript language we will just use it there are some option, uh, there are a term here, argument. Argument means, you saw that whenever we give some draw box inside the bracket of the draw box, we give some value, green, white, 
like black red these are the argument of the function okay it is also called parameter these are the argument of the function okay function means so this draw box is a function it will do a specific task what it will do it will draw a box for me it will draw a color box for me and inside its bracket i will give the color like green blue or green red these are the argument so you don't need to worry about it i am just giving the explanation what does this mean so new line is a function what is the job of the new line it will just create a new line for you nothing else it will go to the new row or new this the function it will draw a box for you okay now see i have to create a flag like this uh green yellow red blue so already they did partial solution for me they have created uh, what uh green flag green row a sum of uh, yellow box i will complete it i will complete this solution in such a way so that it will now look like this now if i run this one what will happen they they did partial solution for me you know if i run this one it will look like this hmm. okay but i have to complete it in such a way so that it will look like this what i will do so i know that i have added l yellow here i have to add it two more yellow box and in the next line i have to add it three blue box from the problem statement i can see that i have to do this that's what i line draw box yellow just click after this line if you click here you will get option to write something again draw box again yellow draw box yellow just select it the new line <clears throat> then after yellow what should i do i i should write three blue box draw box blue draw box blue draw box blue so i wrote my code for this so that it will look like this now so how did i write it just i saw the figure i think it should look like this that's why i am writing it here if i run it what will happen <coughs> that's when i have done it is okay so that's how it will improve your logical development that it will improve your logical development according from the problem statement you will see that what should you do you will think about it then you will write your code here these are very simple in future you will see a bit complex code but these are very simple okay that's how you will work on it this will improve you will not understand you it might look fun to you but in deep it will improve your logical development you will be able to think critically okay that's what actually programming programming and forces you to think critically to think logically there's no place for memorization in the field of programming okay i'm done now your job is okay i am done with this now what you will do okay in the slide actually i wrote something what will you do in the drawing shape section there are few more options like how many blue use the function complete this by yourself very simple thing the drawing shapes option complete this by yourself okay the rest of the things now i will go for the variables okay now come to the main terms of variable uh, programming actually variable is an important part in programming mm. okay what is variable variable means you will be able to store some value there whenever you declare a variable in your programming environment that means you have declared something where you can store some value and also you can change the value of a variable okay you can change the value of a variable you will get it you know the antonym of variable is constant that means the value is fixed variable means the value is not fixed something like that so variable means we will create a variable where we can store or save some value so there are some rules there are some grammars how can we create a variable in our in this environment in the grasshopper i am selecting the first one poland to san marino okay in this puzzle they have written something you will use a variable to store data okay okay there are some rules to create a variable for example here in the example they are showing that var v a r this keyword then in fact is equal to grasshopper so you have to create a variable 
by using this keyword bhar b a r or bhar whatever you say bhar mm, you have to use this keyword this is the rule if you don't use b a r keyword it you will not be able to create a variable and you can give it any name try to give it some related name but you can give it x y z or you name so here we have given a variable name insect here our variable name is insect then e to have some value the value of the insect is grasshopper so so bha the value of the insect is grasshopper so we have created a variable insect you can name it x y z insect is not something fixed and you can give it some value the value is here grasshopper so it's saying that bhad insect is grasshopper save the string grasshopper to the variable insect now it will save the value grasshopper to the variable insect a string means uh you know string means actually in programming string means it's a term sequence of characters it's a word actually multiple words or words sequence of characters it is a string is called a string in programming so what will you i do so we have to create variable by using the keyword var or var this is rule if i show you the example it will be clear to you so you will create a flag like this uh this white and blue stripe so in the instruction they are saying that first of all i have to just give some value in the variable stripe color change red to blue so our job is we will create a flag like the example solution first row is white second row is blue but they did a solution for us where the flag will look like this first row is white second row is red so we have to change this red into blue okay what will i do see they have created a variable here var stripe color is equal to white so they have created a variable stripe color the name of the variable is stripe color it is not something special you can name it x y z whatever you want just they have given some related name we are working with some color and it's a stripe figure that's why it's look is it they named it stripe color so the stripe color is not special here it's you can give it your name like you can give it nusrat uh bornali or whatever you want you can give any name here your variable name then white is the value of the stripe color okay white is the value of the stripe color so see in the draw box here we are writing draw box a stripe color draw box a stripe color draw box a stripe color listen don't miss the semicolon after each statement don't miss the semicolon after each statement you have to give it actually you don't need to worry about it they will automatically give it for you now tell me something here it's printing draw box a stripe color draw box a stripe color draw box a stripe color so ultimately what it will print here can anyone tell me it will print a box draw box function will print a color box so what it will do actually we know that the value of the stripe color is white so ultimately it will print draw box white draw box white draw box white but here we are not writing white we are writing a stripe color because we know that the value of the stripe color is white so if we write a stripe color ultimately it will do white 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 draw box white draw box white draw box white because the variable stripe color has the value white then give a new line then it's printing a stripe color equal to red so instead of red we have to give actually blue here so cross it is that the option cross make it blue okay now we change the value of the stripe color we change the value of the stripe color initially it was white variable stripe color is equal to white then after printing some color boxes we made it blue stripe color is equal to blue i told you you can change the value of a variable then again i am trying to print some boxes color box draw box stripe color draw box in the second part it will print actually draw box blue draw box blue draw box blue because the value of the stripe color is blue if i run it what will happen did you get it it printed three white boxes and also three blue boxes did you get it that's why you have to create a variable and you will work on it i will show another one so that it will be a very clear idea but did you get it all of you 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, it is very simple, isn't it? Okay, come to the next one. Uh, like, let me start the next session. Just next lesson. Today is the day. Uh, I hope you will be able to answer it me. I will reset it because I have already solved it. Just morning class. Okay. Uh, they are they are giving you the instruction. Uh, actually, there's a variable already bare month. That means there's already variable month. The value of the month is August. Then in the instruction, you can see that they're telling you that you have to create another variable day called the name of the variable will be day. And you have to give it some value, string value, Friday, some word. Then you have to print it. Okay, there is another option, print. So you, I will show it. Your example or your solution should look like this. In the first line, it will print August. In the second line, it will print Friday. Okay. They did partial solution for you. See, variable month is equal to August. Print month. Okay. Print is another function like draw box, new line. So print function, what it will do? It will show something or print something on the screen. This is your screen, output screen. This black box is the output screen. Whatever you give inside the print function, it will show on the output screen. Okay, that is the print function. See, here we have a variable. The name of the variable is month. And we have given it some value August. And if we, here it's trying to print month. So what will be the output? If we run this option now, it will show August. Only August. But our target is we will show August also Friday. So they told me that, instructed me, I have to create another variable that is called day and I should give it Friday value. So what I will do, just click here, variable, uh, name it, day. Just click here, give it a value. So I will write here Friday, that means I will write a string here. So for writing Friday, Select str. str means string from the from this option. Then you can give some option here. Right here. Then go to the next line. Then print it. Print day. Can anyone tell me what will be the output for this? What will be the output for this if I run this program? Friday. Friday. Only Friday. Okay. First of all, tell me how many variables are there? Two. 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 One is month, another is day. So actually, there are two. Yeah, month and day. There are two print of print function. Whenever you write something in the print it will show this on the output screen. Like print month means on the output you will see August. Print day means on the output it you will see Friday. So you will see both actually because we are printing both. We are printing month variable, also we are printing day variable. If I run it, what will happen? It's printing August, Friday. Did you get it? That's what actually variable we will do more work on it later but did you get i hope you got something here that's what actually what is variable is <laughs> so for going to the next so your job is try to complete the rest of the things like there is option which doing okay answer this to me <clears throat> that's a quiz here what will be the output of this code just read it. Oh, sorry, sorry. I am just going to read. There you go. What will be the output? There are three options. It's a tricky. Juice and water. What will be the juice and water? Juice. Will it print juice? What will be the output? There are three options. Juice, water, water. Juice, water. Only juice. juice water. Only juice, water. The first one. Two. See, what it will do, it will print actually juice, juice. water. No, juice water. Why? Juice, 
first of all the value of the drink is the name of the variable is drink here the value of the drink is juice so it will print drink whenever it's printing drink first time the value of the drink is juice so it will print juice then we change the value of the drink we made it water so whenever it will print drink again the value of the drink will be water you know we can change the value of a variable okay the first one correct okay so your job is um, try to complete this section for the variables it is very easy actually you can do it try to complete the section rather there are some very simple actions okay all of you do you have any question now okay now i will start another section that is array before starting array uh, array is actually uh, like in a variable we can store a single value only one value in an array we will be able to store multiple values okay like variable means that's only a variable fine but in that variable we can store only one value at a time but array means there will be a variable and that variable will be able to store multiple values that variable will be able to store multiple values how if you click on the first lesson the first lesson like uh, add to the array to give pick random function okay how can you add an array here <clears throat> so don't worry about the pick random pick random function <clears throat> pick random will pick a word for you will pick a random word for you like we have a created a variable here var answer is equal to pick random don't worry about the pick random but the value of the answer here we have given a third bracket see i hope you can see we have given two values here yes no if i give another value here like give a string like good nothing else so pick random will pick so here our answer variable has three value one is yes another is no another is good if i run it for you pick random will just pick a random value for it like it, it has selected only good so here answer is a variable and in the answer variable we have three values we don't have only here one value we have three values okay if i show another one it clear to okay what i will do okay instead of writing okay all of you i will create a variable here i will create a arrow here see so i have how can you create a arrow array variable in gradients then if you create a single variable just it can store one value then just give a value here but if you want to create a arrow you have to create a bracket here or also you call it third bracket so after the equal give this bracket so now it has become an array now in this variable you can store multiple values okay like for example i will store here flour sugar and eggs mm. click on the first one click on the string then write flour click on the second option click on the string write sugar click on the third string write here string like flour sugar and eggs mm. okay now after the array go to the next line just click after the bracket it will go to the automatically go to the next line uh, so they are not giving print option okay fine they are giving an option cook click on the cook so did you get it hmm. okay cook is nothing special i think they will just print something don't worry about cook this is something for jasper but did you get it we have created an array the name of the array is ingredients and it has three values one is flour another is sugar another is eggs so in the cook actually what it's trying to print 
um, in the cook it's trying to print ingredient ingredient means our array of array ingredients if you run it it will just you back the cook so i will show you actually something about an array hmm. okay try to complete the rest of the thing by itself hmm. okay there is another thing i will now try to show you array example there if you click on this uh, three dots and there is an option here code playground in the code playground you can create your own code own environment here you can write your code you can work on it like create new snippet if you create a new snippet snippet here you can write your own code there will not be no problem you can practice your own thing you can write your own thing. <coughs> whatever you want to write like it's printing hello world uh if you run it it will just be hello world okay i will create an arrow here so see on this window on the lower side you will get bottom window here you will get lots of options variable if else like i will create a array so i need where like i will name it what uh, uh name so i have created an array i have created an array the name of the array is name i will give some value so it is an array so i need a third bracket now i can store multiple values here i will give some name here for example i will just give you name uh, so in the name uh, you have to give some string click on the str like i will give axo name just some name for your name next one is string like nusrat the next one that is click on the string like fabia i just took some name from you so here i have an array the name of the array is name and i have three values here aksani nusrat and array if i print it print and select name so what will be the output of this program first of all it will print hello world i will see the output here then i i have created an array the name of the array is name and it has three values aksani nusrat and sadia so whenever i will try to print it See whatever it will in the it i am trying to print name variable but name is an array here and it has three values so it's printing that hello world aksani nusrat and sadia so, aksani nusrat sadia all of the values are saved in an array the name of the array is name but you have to declare it in this way where name like variable but you have to give a third bracket inside the third bracket you have to write the value of the thing so did you get it that's how you can create an array in the array you can actually save multiple values and in an variable you can say uh, save a single value okay in a code playground actually this option you can create your own playground uh enable as big is actually what does it mean your current code will be reset uh enable as big is hmm. okay enable as big is i think it you should select it fine oh no it oh it will remove all of the codes okay that's how you can write your code here uh like i have created a thing in a new snippet disable as big is still now i am not actually aware of all of the things so that's how you can create your own playground you can write your own code here and you can save it actually whenever you will go back there's an option here do you want to save this code snippet for later save snippet you can name it like it is section 4 i am naming it section sorry section 4 class 1 okay i have given it a name save it so i later i will i can use it again whenever i will open it again i can see my code here again okay. okay then if you go to code playground 
again here code playground you will get this option this is a file actually here you can write something so you can create different files you can create different work there okay now your job is complete the other things here in the array section so your job is complete the variable section i did some only to complete the drawing shape complete the array section this is very simple you can do it so do you have any question so basically here you will learn very simple terms of programming 